Hey guys, Kai Bill Richard here and I'm back with another video. So, um, I'm gonna be doing back like videos again. It's just, um, I put up a video about half an hour ago, so it's uploaded. So, go check out that video just to let you guys know that I'm back doing videos. So, I am back now. So, I have still got the cold, like the sniffles and that, but. I am slowly getting better as well, so hopefully it goes by the end of this week. So I'm gonna take it smooth and just do like videos and like reactions and that or like the guess and all would you rather kind of thing. Or maybe some vlogs. So yeah. So today's video is gonna be a guess and only four video. So I think this might be the last one. I ain't hundred percent sure. Probably maybe this will be. But five, I don't know because I don't wanna go like all like all in all so maybe this is gonna be the last one and wrap it around i mean if you want to ask any other questions that you may not know about me then you just ask that in your own time so yeah um anyways let's get started so i've already got a link up to a website so uh i use the questions from there that i'll talk to you guys about it so Oh. <laughs> the camera has froze. That's happened before in one of my videos. Oh, it's because the charger fell out. Oh, okay. Let's start. Okay. What does my name mean? Oh, it's a Greek word. It's a Greek word. I can remember this one on my uh, K ring because I've got a K ring on this. So basically, apparently it says on a K ring, it says, my name's a, the, a Greek word for pure. Like, she is loving and caring, she won't let you down. Something like that. But I can also find a definition on the internet too. But that's what my K ring says. So like, loving and caring, and then she won't let you down, kind of thing. And then I had Kate and Katie on it as well, so a few names. Very nice, okay. Name meaning. So it's my name's from Greek. So there. Oh no, it says. Oof. So the one that. So there's the name Catherine spelled C A T H A R I N A is Hebrew. And the one mine is. Uh, Uh, Greek. This is quite different actually, I didn't know that. Images. So just check images. I'm sure there'll be so many different ones. There, that one says pure. So many different ones. Uh, find like a nice one. There's a one with Chinese writing that says esteemed, lovely gen genius. Hmm. There's just so many different ones, so you don't know what's the truth. Okay, there's a one that's mixed, so it says. Hmm, that's not right. That's not a really good one. I like that one. Say what this one is. It's a bit. Kaf. Kaf. Rin. Ah, I get it, because it's got like a meaning. Like a little, little way it pronounces. So, Irish. It's apparently Irish, but. The one I got on me curing is Greek. So I'm sure it's Greek. Apparently it's Irish origin mean and pure. Teacher analyzing vocal energetic leader clear. Oh, that's true. I have got lots of balls of energy. Like when I'm not like doing videos on that, I'm like really full of balls of energy. So like one of my friends and I are called really crazy. I mean you've seen this when I was on my, with my friends on that video, but it get I'm worse than that. So yeah. Um, teaching assistant is something I'm actually interested in. So yeah, excuse me, can hear my brother in the background, he's being mad. So yeah, um, basically I mean it for pure. <laughs> Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my, well, that could be background music. <laughs> That's my brother. Not my horrible oldest brother, my other brother, Ryan. That's his name. He's... He's just a Dorito. Okay, I'm trying to get distracted. 
Okay. What are you gifted at? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe sucking out for others? I don't know, probably that. Um. What is one item you can't leave home without? An object. If it was someone and we found, like, brother my mum and brother. But, um, an object. A lot of people would say phone. But, probably the laptop. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Probably most people say phone. I don't know about that one. But I don't, actually, if it was like one item to take, if I was going to place one or anywhere, probably phone. Because obviously for calls and all that. So, yeah. Um, what was the last book you read? The Finance of Freddy's Twisted Ones. So, I will do more videos soon with me reading through that. So, the Let's Read kind of thing. Um, but I'll do that more next year. Like in January, February time. Okay. What is my favourite fairy tale? So a fairy tale. Probably Snow White not Snow White. Cinderella. Probably Cinderella is one of my favourites. Um favourite type of clothing? Denim. I like to rip jeans and that. What is my star sign? Aquarius. I've actually got a cup downstairs. I think I've already said this one before, but I've got a Aquarius cup downstairs. So it's right. Bang on on my birthday is the next part. So if I was a born day before, I wouldn't be Aquarius. So I'm born Aquarius. Just on the dot. Okay, do you have a tattoo? No. Do you have any allergies? No. Do you have any birthmarks? No, I don't. Um. Do you like giving cuddles? Yes, I do. I love giving hugs. I'm a huggable person. I love giving hugs. Like, if people have balls, they also turn from that. And obviously, the kids are in um, the history is just so adorable. But, like, hug. Um, Favourite school subject? When I was in school with childcare. Probably if it was top three childcare, IT, and PA. Surprisingly, PA was quite fun to do because it wasn't really boring. I mean, it was some, some of the things that was just quite steam repeated in that. I mean, I never got a chance to do football because I really wanted to do football. It's kind of unfair because we didn't really get to choose either what we wanted to do for the term. We were just kind of given it. I think for improvement, if it was in school, they should let like students choose what they want. Like... All to agree on, most of just agree on and that. But the one last she was like the other class, like the other class they had, would you know, was oh yeah, they got to choose, but we had to do what they did. But it was most of the time the same. But I did enjoy like the ones that were my favourites. So usually at the end of every term, we tend to do a dodgeball, and I love doing dodgeball. Um, I like doing the trampoline and uh, rounders. It was really fun. Um, what was my first job? Now I haven't really had I haven't like pay pay a job, but I did do volunteering this year, which was for a charity and Hexham, and it was looking after children with special needs. Well, additional needs, so like autism, cerebral palsy, and that. But yeah, that was like my first proper job, like for volunteering. But I'm gonna pop a job next year. There's a dinner nanny. Can't wait for it. When was the first time you were on a plane? I've never been on a plane in my life. When was the last time you cried? Probably last month or two months ago. Can't remember. Who's the best teacher you ever had? Oh, probably Miss Story for childcare because I loved having Miss Story for childcare because she was a really nice teacher. 
um she was just so nice and that like she would just teach you all sorts of things. She grow she was the one who made me grow to love childcare. She was a really good teacher. She was like bubbly enthusiastic and that and she was so kind to everyone in the class and she would really help me with the coursework and that. It's like if you struggle and that she was like, Oh like you need that but that but like she would help me make things understand. So there was like some classes where I had another teacher and it made no sense at all. I was like, What? The compare when I had my story she just made everything make sense. But yeah, I did like my my other favourite teacher was Mr Dunlop. Um, business teacher, he was such a great laugh and he was really like, nice. But he also like he was there like to talk to, just like to talk about anything, and always like help with coursework. Like again with coursework and that for business, he really helped a lot. And plus he was really funny. I still remember that ice cream joke he made about Mr Whitby. It was so funny. And then uh, Mr Gray, Mr Gray left, so like he knew. Most of my family, he knows most of my family, but like he was quite funny. And every year, well, he did not just to me, he did it everyone. He loved to play the guitar in the class and sing songs. <laughs> and then just like start like taking the pick out of people in the class, like not nasty, but just like funny, just to make people, like, people laugh. He was like mad. It was like one time when I was in the class, I was in the really low set. It was so funny because he was like. I'm sure he did, like, he got, like, one of them rotten tubes, and uh, one of the lads was sleeping in the class, he went, oh, you wake up, he was, like, we've, one of my best friends, uh, Megan, like, they're doing a bit of a sore fight, like, they go, got up, and then they end up getting tubes and doing that, each other. it's so funny, and he's, like, ah, oh, he stabbed his ear, so funny, but there was, like, one year, I was on my birthday, it was the 15th birthday, it was, in. He went, he literally got everyone in the canteen, like during lunch, like I was just eating, sitting there with my friends and that, and then he comes over and he went, he started singing happy birthday, and me, my face went red, I was like, everyone's looking at me like that, I'm like, oh no, and I was like so embarrassed, and I put my head on the desk and everyone's laughing, so I'm just looking at my friends, I'm like, why? So he done it, he done it to everyone, it was so funny. Yes, he was like one of my favourite teachers. Probably one I missed that left and all. Okay. Who was the I've done that one? Okay. Who was your favourite actor? Most likely Dwayne Johnson's one of my favourites. I know he's uh, he's a part of the WWE as well, but he does do acting. He's one of my favourites, and I do love for a female. Angelina Jolie, I loved when she was done to a murder. Yeah, um... If I could give my younger self any advice, what would it be? Stay strong, stay positive, hopeful, and don't let bad things happen to you. Stay strong for family, that's what I would say. And don't let the bad past get to you, you as well. That's what I'd say to my younger self. Okay. Last time we swam in a pool, earlier this year, around April, May time. I can't remember, I went for my brother. I love swimming now. They tell still got to cut it, but it's starting to go away. Uh, get there. Slowly, slowly, slowly. If it go away. Okay. I'll be one moment, guys. Just get the next one up. I don't want to do like main ones, it's just like a bit boring. I don't like friends doing that. Are you named after anyone? No. No one I know of anyway. Um, I've actually got one in my head actually. Name I was originally going to be, I was originally going to be named Anne Marie. But then it changed. 
Det är kaffe Louise och kaffe Louise. Väl, vi säger det igen. Do you sarcasm or laugh? Mm, depends on what the situation is. Sometimes if I like joke on it, I tend to use sarcasm. Scary movie, happy endings. Both, but I love scary movies. Especially paranormal and jockey. I really want to watch Annabelle. Never got a chance to see that. Favourite smells? Probably... Hmm. I like the smell of fresh air. Like, when it's like, I think especially in the summer, so like when it's a nice warm morning and you're like, I'm like, oh, it's time to get up and then you just feel the heat and rest here. Yeah? I'm like, I just like that. So my mind, when I open my blinds, I'm like, just finally wake up and I'm out of bed, I'm like, oh, such fresh air. And then you just let the wind breeze on like that. Um, I love the smell of coconut really nice smell and probably this is a weird one but probably petrol smells nice I mean yeah it is used for cars now but when you like go to a petrol station and you smell it smells nice I don't know why but yeah I do like smell of cakes a lot as well cakes like food and that it smells nice uh Who was your first best friend? Bethany. How tall are you? Well, the last I checked was five up three, but I think I'm five up four now. I don't know. So I just keep saying I'm five up three, but I think I'm roughly five up four now. I'm sure I've got teensy taller, but probably just by an inch. I don't know. How many countries have you visited? None. The only furthest, like I said, I've been in the Lake District. That's it. Which is like two and a half hours away from here. Uh, what is your favorite tr- tr- favorite pair? I've done that one. Favorite animal, wolves. Wolves are my favorite, but I do love dogs, owls, foxes, cats, especially leopards. If a favorite wild animal, like wild cat, probably leopard, because it's so adorable. What would you name your children? Okay. <laughs> I know a weird one, but girls, I really like, for girls' names, I really like Luna is my favourite, uh, followed by Skylar, Gemma Lee, and probably Harper is quite a nice name. For a boy, probably Ollie. Um, I don't know any others at the moment, but probably Ollie. Such a nice name, but yeah. Um, who are my favourite YouTubers? Okay, I was going to do a top 10 on this, or top 10 of 5, but I'll go through my favourites. So, my most favourite YouTubers, Jack Scepter Guy, um, Markiplier, PewDiePie, Ice um, Club Cake, uh, so many I go through, like that. The Joe so that's a Joe. I think it's that's a Joe. I think it is. Casper Lee. Um, Dolan Twins. What else is there? Uh, oh, come on. Oh, Ruby, Ruby, Rube, Ruby, Rube. I've just like started getting more new. There was another one I got in him when he does the Gummy versus food challenge it was, it's called Dwavo or something I can't remember I'll have a quick look I'll be my mum and guys found it guys it was uh, Guava Juice is another YouTube I'm starting going to he's going to be one of my favourites as well I really love when he's doing the food versus gummy challenge and I really really want to do it sometime like do the gummy challenge versus the real food I've been watching a lot of them lately and I'm like that's one of the videos that I'm going to do in the future so yeah, um, favorite animated YouTubers or memes slash like animated memes. I love um Wolfie Chew, uh Sweet Old Tunes is such a cute couple. Um, Starry Act, Giga, it is. Uh, 
Rose Dolly. I can't pronounce that one well. But like, yeah, I do love all of them. Like, of like, favourite animators for memes. Favourite animators for like, series of that is Tony Cronight. And MZ Aquafor. I can't pronounce that well. But yeah. So, it's most of them really. But I do watch like, other YouTubers on that as well. And, ah. Uh, other ones in general. Cherry Man. There's other ones. Kirby and Blossom Fan 100. Uh, and, oh, Brawl Game. That's one of my friends. I haven't taught him in ages. So, like, if I followed on Twitter. He's a really good YouTuber as well. And really nice. Awesome videos as well. But, yeah. Um, okay. Back to questions. I'm going to do three more and wrap the video there. Okay. <coughs> Describe my fashion sense. Put it simple. Just put anything I'm cozy with and comfortable with. And there you go. So I have my own fashion. What phone do you have? iPhone 5. S I think. I don't know but it's an iPhone 5. Okay, two more. Ch -ch -ch, quicker click this one. Yeah. So this one's going to be uploaded probably they uploaded by 10pm to 11pm. We'll see. Okay. My best friend. I have lots of best friends but my three best friends are Anya, Chloe and Megan. And then obviously like my other friends, Shania, Rin, well, ages that I heard, Renee, this was in school, not at all, Claudia, Molly, Angela, and it's so on and so on. But there was like Pro Extrema, Kyle, and Jordan too. Yeah, last one. Okay. So. I don't know. Uh, currently, favorite song is "Rockstar" by Post Malone. Love that song. Then I also like this Nightcore song, um, because I love Nightcore music as well. Is there one called "It's Night"? Like, if they could do it once or something, where they do like one song comes on, the other song comes on, and they both like play in the background and that. Which is Carousel by Melanie Martinez. She's one of my other favourite singers. Um, it's an echo version. And then We Are Number One. Uh, well, Robbie Rotten's song. And it's both together. It's really, really good. So I suggest you guys to listen to that. It's really awesome. Anyway, so that does it for this video. So I don't think I'll be doing any more of these. So if you want to ask any more questions, then go ahead. Just like. You can talk to us on social media and that, but if you want it as a do one more, then I'll do one more if you just like, got any suggestions or questions to ask. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and why not subscribe? Oh, whoops, if you like, this, please hit that like button and why not subscribe? And I'll see you, Blue Rose, in the next video. Bye.